everybody, welcome back to Jay's Car Channel. Today I'm going to be doing an engine bay detail on this 2005 Crown Victoria that I picked up off auction. Uh, just dirty, dingy, disgusting, you know, never been detailed once at all in its whole life. So I'm going to do that and uh, just to show you kind of how grimy this thing is. You kind of see, you know, it picks up. And before I start, the first thing I like to do is remove all loose debris. So you see all the leaves and everything up there. In the cowl area. I'm going to take all that out, so I'm going to do that. Also, you want to cover your electronics. So over here on the right, that's where the computer is, and I've got that covered with the bag so it doesn't get wet. I'm actually not going to be using a pressure washer or a hose on this one. I'm going to be spraying it with Adam's Tire Rubber Cleaner. This is a real strong cleaner that can get all these plastics looking good again, and I've got a bucket full of soapy water here with all my brushes and towels. Um, so from here, I'm going to set this up on the uh, tripod and uh, show you guys my process. One thing you want to make sure is you're applying any cleaner, you want to apply it to a cool motor. So this motor has cool to the touch, it's not been running a while. And you want to liberally spray the surface down with this. I like to hit the big areas first, so start with the engine cover, just work your way down, hose. I'm going to take this fender brush out of the soap bucket and start to scrub all the areas that I can reach. The other brush I have is a little trim and lug nut brush so you can kind of get down into the more intricate areas. I've got so much mud, just filth on this. I'm gonna take a microfiber towel and start to wipe some of this up, actually. The microfiber towel of choice for me for this job is the Clean Green Monster. It works really well on engine bays, all the grease and grime there. Same on tires, it's an awesome towel. So I'm gonna take this and go over all the surfaces where I've scrubbed and loosened up everything, and it basically is gonna pick up the remaining dirt and grime so that I can move on to the next steps. And you're gonna also notice that uh, from time to time, I'm going to go back to the bucket. I should show that in this video. I go back to the bucket to rinse the towel out and get things out of it and then continue on throughout the uh, engine bay. So here's where I'm going to go back to the bucket right here. In order to get down into the hard to reach areas of this engine bay, I like this small wheel willy by Adams Polishes. I spray the tire and rubber cleaner into it and then go to work. It's almost like you turn into Plastic Man, if anybody remembers him from back in the day. You can just reach anywhere you need to reach. He can always just stretch and reach anything, so that's what this wheel willy allows you to do. Especially these valve covers. They were hard to reach and this wheel willy got down in there and got the job done. Because I'm not using a pressure washer or a hose on this engine bay detail, I'm using Adam's Census Wash diluted 20 to 1. And I'm going to use that. You can use a waterless wash product. Pretty much anything like that will work. This is essentially the rinse phase. Since I'm not putting a hose or water on the car, I'm going to take this and spray it all over the engine bay. And what it's going to do is going to break up the remaining grime and grease. And also it's going to knock down the cleaner that was previously used. So you don't really want that cleaner to remain on the surface. You want to remove it as best you can. So that's what you do with this microfiber towel. I'm just taking that clean green monster behind it and I'm gonna level everything off and get it ready for applying a dressing. So that's how, how we do that. So here's our crispy engine bay in all its glory. We've done everything to get it right to this stage to apply a dressing. For those of you following along at home, it's five steps, right? First, we sprayed it down with tire and rubber cleaner. Generous spray down. Number two, scrubbed it with all the brushes and implements, you know, all the tools we have. Number three, 
take all behind that with the Clem Green Monster microfiber to pick all that up. Number four is the rinse phase I consider. I don't use a pressure washer or a hose. I use a rinse this wash product. It's up to you. You can do that, or this wash, rinse this wash product, or you can apply a hose to it. That's fine. You can even start with a hose. I don't like to put a lot of water on an engine bay, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So the fifth step, as you remember, is to go back with that Clean Green Monster microfiber. After we've done the rinse this wash and let it set up, go pick all that up. And now to my favorite part, the last step, applying the dressing. This is Car Pro Pearl I'm using, and I've got it diluted, I think 50-50. Now you, on the website it says to dilute three parts water to one part pearl, but I think 50-50, you're not gonna go wrong with it. So see, I take an applicator, spray it into the pad, and just go about applying it to all the surfaces, and it just makes it look so nice. And look how awesome this stuff starts looking. One other thing I want to mention is there may be some areas where if I can't get an applicator to it, I may spray it some with the pearl and just let it self-level. It's like down on the valve covers. I sprayed those a little bit and I could get to them a little, but uh, a lot of times if I can't reach it, I'll just kind of spray it down there and, and let it level, self-level. So but here we go. Here's the final result. Look how much difference this thing makes. It's pretty incredible. I mean, it looks like a damn nice car now. It looked like an old beater before but hey got it looking good and that's all it's about so if you guys got any questions about this process just hit me up in the comments one final thing to note is the whole intent of this process as you watch me go throughout cleaning this engine bay is to avoid spraying massive amounts of water anytime you use a hose you're going to put a lot of water in an engine bay and yeah some of them are fine with it but some you may run into some trouble with. I'd rather use a pressure washer if I had a preference between a hose and a pressure washer, but my ultimate preference is to do it this way where there's no hose or pressure washer at all. I'm just using that restless wash product to essentially replace those. So anyway, just wanted to basically reinforce that. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's a before and after. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and please like this video. Thanks again and see you on the next one.